is Aaron Bridgeway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make some cranberry muffins and a loaf of cranberry bread. I was gifted some cranberries recently and I have a jar of cranberry sauce that I want to use up and get it out of my kitchen. So we're going to make some muffins and some cranberry bread today. I will list in my description box everything you need to know how to make it. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. When we get to 900, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards, one for new subscribers, one for people who comment. Melissa Conrad is the winner of the cutting board, and I've already been in contact with her. And Ellie was the winner of the five item price pack because we achieved the amount of subscribers I needed to hand one out. Her name was Ellie Boston, and I've already been in contact with her too, and I'll be mailing out those prizes later this week. If you're new here, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to tap on that bell. What you want to do is preheat your oven to 400. We're going to make cranberry muffins today. I'm going to put my sugar into here. I need two cups of sugar. I'm going to just fill it up to the top line. Take four eggs. I'm going to use a half bag of dried canned berries and a can of my cranberries that's left over, and I want to use it before the expiration. Dump that right on in. I'm also going to add in about a half a cup of sour cream. I'm going to make sour cream cranberry muffins today. Go on and crack in four eggs. It's cold and snowy out. Ice is coming later, so I thought some homemade muffins would be in store for today. Shell in it. Just use your cracked egg and it retrieves it like a magnet. Go ahead, take your cranberries and you're going to open them. So I want to add in the sour cream. We're going to put in about a half a cup of your sour cream. Just dump it on it. And you're going to dump it into your bowl. And then I'm going to mix it after I add in about a tablespoon of vanilla. I have vanilla extract here. Just going to eyeball it in. You go ahead and mix all the ingredients. Before we add in the can and the cranberries, I'm going to get a mix. Scrape everything off that spoon. I'm going to rinse that spoon off because we're going to use it to fill the muffin pans with. That is looking really good. Let's go ahead and add in some of the cranberries. I've got some dried cranberries gifted from me recently. And that's about a cup. Before we even put the can in, let's just give them a quick mix. Don't worry about any messes you make. You can clean that up later. 
I'm going to add the can putting its juices into the bowl, which is going to give it its beautiful color. And we're going to dump it on in. Give it a little bit of help if you need to. And then you're going to mix until it's completely blended. Take a butter spray, not a sponsor. Spray them well. And then I just take my scoop here that you see. And I fill it up about halfway. I'm going to continue to fill them until all the cups are full and about halfway. The oven is now preheated. I'm going to pop them into the oven. I have a dozen muffins and two pans of cranberry bread. It made quite a bit of batter with just a two and a half cups of biscuit that I put into the bowl with the other ingredients. I'll make sure all the ingredients are in the description box down below for you to make these cranberry muffins with what we have on hand. Start off by putting in one of the muffins and one of the breads. The muffins itself should take about 15 to 20 minutes and the bread should take up to 35. That just means the oven's preheated. I'm going to start with 15 for the muffins. And when those are done, I'll pop the other two in. That is the deep fryer you hear in the back. Go ahead and check on the muffins here. The muffins are turning out nice. The bird's going to need another 15-20 minutes and they smell incredible. Let's go ahead and take them out. The muffins will be done first. They actually needed 16 minutes. I'm going to leave the bread in for another 15. Oh yeah, they are done. And look at the bread here. It smells so good. Take it with a fork. Directly down the middle. That definitely needs about 15 more minutes. I'm going to check the bread. Grab my fork here. And grab my hand warmer. looks good as long as it's not wet when it pops up it is done I checked about three times the bread is done some of it stuck to the bottom of the baking pan as you see here but it looks pretty good and I just sampled a little bit of it from the baking pan it is delicious and my breads never come out whole I keep trying and practicing. This is what it looks like, and I'll make sure everything you need to know on how to make this delicious cranberry bread is in my description box.